in New Orleans. I would like to think so, but and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. And Tommy, welcome back. I know Thank you've been you. overseas. You've been in Paris. Yeah, it's great to be back. I got back on Mardi Gras Day. Cheapest flight all year. <laughs> <laughs> I like flying on holidays. It, yes, it's indeed. It's a, a good break for you. Yeah. So um, I know that you put out one record under Classic Jazz Trio, and you had – this is to John. John, you had uh, Tom Sankton and Tom Fisher playing together. So That's today, right. I know, we've got two-thirds of the classic jazz trio That's back. Right, we're the classic jazz <laughs> duo. Duo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a new, new CD, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just talking about that. I love Tommy's it. Tommy's in and out of town so of much, it's kind of hard. But we're going to do it. Okay, okay. Well, I love we the sound. To. I yeah, love the sound too. of the guitar and clarinet, and I love everything that y'all yeah. do. So Thank you. to the world, we're getting ready to video stream. Are we okay. video streaming now? Okay, we are video streaming, so you can watch uh, John and Tommy play, and you can <laughs> play, <hey. laughs> and you can also listen if you're tuned in. Well, that's and it. That's I it. hope you got your business done, because if not, the number to call. Can you see the number in there? Yes, uh, it's one eight seven seven nine zero seven six nine nine nine. Okay, that's the way to do it. Or go online, <laughs> www.oz.org, and you can watch while you pledge. Yeah. Okay, are you all ready to take it away? We are. We're going to start with a uh, Joe King Oliver song uh, that also Jelly Roll Morton got credit for, and the, and the uh, editor, took the publisher, took a little credit, too. <laughs> but from the 1920s, uh, Melrose was the publisher. Uh, Dr. Jazz. Everybody gets the blues now and don't know what to do I've had it happen many times before and so have you but those days I've gone and passed I found out what to do at last when I Central, give me Dr. J. He's got what I need, I say has. Yeah, when I'm feeling down, when I got those blues, well, he's the one that makes me put on both my dancing shoes. The more I get, the more I want it seems. I see Dr. Jazz in all my dreams. When I'm in trouble and I'm bound and mixed, he's the one gonna get me fixed. Hello, Central, give me Dr. Jazz. Give it to me. Give me 
Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. So Thank good you. to have you back in the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I understand you're back at the columns again. I am back at the columns. We had a. We've been having a great time. You've got probably the longest running residency there. Uh, certainly at the columns. Yeah. 21 years. 21 years. Now, I think Charmaine has me beat on uh, Monday nights at the Snug Harbor. Okay, yeah, in yeah. In terms of long, long gigs. But I think 21 years is long enough in any one place. Well, I think but, you, you know, it's such a pretty place. And we got the ballroom, and, you know, we have a, I have a, a terrific listening audience. We just – we built just the most wonderful uh, listening room. And a week ago, Tommy played. He'd just gotten off the boat, basically. <laughs> it came or on the, down, plane. Huh? the plane, the plane, and we had him and Clarence Johnson. It was it was a, yeah, ball. a ball. ball. It was a ball. So Tommy, what's it like when you've been in Paris for what six months yeah. or so, nine and then you months. come back yeah. nine months, and yeah. then you come back to New Orleans? Oh well, it's it's great. I'm just reconnecting with my roots here. You know, it, France is great, Paris is great, but it's it's not New Orleans. So I mean, I'm very much aware of the fact that it's a different life over there. And but as soon as I get here, I'm just back in my element. Um, eat my gumbo and my crawfish and, mm -hmm. uh, and crawfish and in season now they're great yeah and, and playing with John <laughs> playing with John and play, playing a lot more music than I do over there so uh, and this is a great season with you know uh, French Quarter Fest coming up and Jazz Fest and uh, so I I got a lot of gigs lined up and uh, seeing my buddies and uh, just uh, tapping into my New Orleans roots and it's really great to be back yeah, well, e e eating his way home. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. a, yeah, that's a song in that somewhere, yeah. I'm sure. But uh, gl great to have you back. Thank you. And great to have both of y'all in the studio. Oh, we're thank thrilled you. to be here. Thank you, Sally. Again, and thank you for your wonderful show. You know, I love listening to your oh, yeah. traditional show, yeah, and, yeah. and it's so it's so alive. And you know, you know, so many of the musicians around town. You know, that really well, makes it special. My like <laughs> it's definitely my circle of music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Traditional jazz. It all just kind of <laughs> came together. Right. Those cosmic things. Well, yeah. it makes a difference when you really know the people like you do. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. It's a wonderful thing. I love listening to the radio early in the morning. It really, uh, WWZ specifically. <laughs> definitely, definitely on in the background of my house all the time. Oh, yeah. From the moment I wake up. Oh, just I get it in Paris, by the way. On the, on do you? On the okay. Internet. Yeah. Yeah, we stream, we stream around the world. So yes, And people are watching you around the world yeah. right now. Yeah. So, uh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, well, didn't mean to put, you know, <coughs> make you nervous or anything. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. Make up, make up. <laughs> oh, God, I should have brought up. my attendant. I knew that. <laughs> straighten it up. Well, I know you got more music to play, but, again, I want to tell the people how to call in case they haven't already. We've had a phenomenal response this morning, and we're so thankful uh -huh. to all the people. In fact, oh, my God, they're coming in like crazy. Oh, um, I want to thank Nate from right here in New Orleans. He's a past donor. He listens every week. Go, you go, Nate. Yeah, appreciates the Rock volunteers. On. Yeah. So on Jazz that on. note, y'all give everybody the number again, how to get in touch. Oh, www.woz.org slash donate. That's an easy way. You don't have to do anything or talk to anybody. Or 1-877-907-6999. That's the way to do it. That's it. Well, I want you to keep tuned in because y'all are going to play a couple more songs, I know, once we yes, get y'all started. And thanks for coming out so early in the morning. It's really a pleasure to have you. It wasn't that Great hard. To see you. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. Well, I know. <laughs> You're usually early. working at the university uh, oh, uh, yeah. around this time of day. So uh, yeah. thanks for giving us your time. Oh, our pleasure. Much appreciated. And it's a good chance for us just to hang out in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to see you in a little bit over on this side. Okay, then. But um, you got something else for us this morning? Sure. What are y'all uh, talking about in there? I see when you're sound checking, y'all are planning. Uh, your, oh, your yeah, music. and we're just, you know, having a good time goofing around because I haven't seen Tommy much at all. You know, oh, I know we I went know. to Mandina's Monday night. Oh, yeah. And he yeah. got the f seafood platter. I'm telling you, if you've never oh, seen you that warm. thing, <laughs> it's like three days <laughs> worth of meals. Half of it's still in my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm so sure uh, that'll keep you going for a while. Oh, so we're we'll just 
so glad just to see him and catch up, you know. And we'll be back at the Collins. Can I say that too? On May seventh after Jazz Fest, okay. right before he leaves. Mm -hmm. So we got a wrapping the beginning, his first gig and his last gig in New Orleans. Yes. Or well, I love, I love your record. It's kind of a code almost. Last, last in April, first in May. Oh yeah. That's, it's almost a code. Like everybody from here knows that means Jazz Fest. But right. <laughs> So some right. people, they probably look at that and go, huh? <laughs> I originally <laughs> called that mean? Congo Square, and there were a bunch of songs that, but talking about the old coin do market, you know, when they called it Congo. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but that was, that was really inspired by the African bands at Jazz, ba at Jazz Fest, which is why I named that. But we're not doing that today. Oh, I know, I know, but I was just saying it's that you were talking Jazz Fest. Oh, yeah, in. oh, well, that's one of the yeah. reasons I'm here, you know, but. Uh, and that's basically, I guess, how I know you. Through Jazz Fest yeah. and, and Patrice, yeah. your wife. I mean, Going I way back. definitely know Patrice and Jazz Fest. Yeah, and yeah. you knew my mom, too. So yeah, yeah. We were all tied in there. Big mama. That's One right. degree of separation. That's mm -hmm. right. No That's degrees right. of separation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to do a Sidney Bechet song. You know, Sidney was from New Orleans, a clarinetist and um, a saxophonist, and he lived in Paris for many years. So it's kind of a bridge for us. And it's on that uh, record of the classic jazz trio. And it's Si tu vois ma mère, if you see my mother. Thank you. 
Tommy. <laughs> yeah, John. All right. Let me get my guitar back and see. Yep. Indeed, <laughs> some of these days. Thank you. John yeah. Rankin, Tom Sankton. Today live. was one of those days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> live on WWOZ. Oh, so oh. glad to have you in the studio oh, doing this. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. It's always. been a pleasure. And to everybody out there in WWOZ land, this is just the best place to be. And a great support for all the New Orleans musicians when you help uh, support WWOZ. You're helping to support all the musicians in New Orleans because this is one place that will play the music of most, almost pretty much everybody that plays music in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of us here <laughs> sure earning are. Sure a are. lot of low paying work, as Emily <laughs> Rimler once said. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we really appreciate the support so much. Yeah, and again, appreciate y'all. Just love what you do. Oh, thank you. That sound, that the guitar and the clarinet is just wonderful. It together. is. Yeah, the like wood, it's the wood yeah. and the wood, I think, that really. The wood and the wood, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's the wood that really brings it in. Mm -hmm. and, and Tommy's playing, to and me, brings me right oh, back sure. to New Orleans. 
hey, can we talk about your books? Do we have a minute? A minute, yeah. Um, well, first off, Tom wrote the, one of the best books about New Orleans music ever, a song for my fathers. It has a great digital edition and stuff, but mm -hmm. if uh, about uh, his mentor, George Lewis, and, and his growing up in New Orleans, and we grew up in town here at the same time and knew a lot of the same people. Heck, I taught your cousin and her son yeah, and your yeah, nephews. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's a great book, and I know you've got something else. Well, yeah, I wrote uh, a couple of years ago a book called The Betancourt Affair, which is uh, set in France. It's about the world's then, uh, the world's richest woman and the, uh, her much younger uh, protege to whom she gave about a billion uh, dollars worth of gifts and uh, artwork and insurance policies over 25 years until her daughter sued him for elder abuse. And that was a 10-year huge legal battle in France. So it's, it's a... It's about the saga of the Betancourt family and this, uh, this legal, legal battle. And uh, it's actually been optioned uh, as a um, TV series, a mini series. So hope, wow. I hope you see that on the screen one day. And yeah. I'll just put on my glasses here to, to mention, um, I'll be talking about this, the Betancourt affair at the um, East Bank Regional Library uh, in Metairie on uh, March 28th from 3 to 4 p.m. So the little book presentation and a reading and signing. If anybody buys books, I'll be happy to sign. Well, that's them. today. Oh, yeah. And uh, well, then then everybody's got to get their pledging done now. Yeah, Because absolutely. they all got to go to Metairie today. Sorry? <laughs> that's today. That's today. No, that's uh, that's March uh, 28th. Oh, March 28th. March okay. 28th. Okay. You were talking yeah. like it was in present time. Okay. Oh, I'm I got sorry. you. Wait but okay. Yeah. Well, you yeah. um, we got a little business to take care of here. And then I'm going to get, if y'all want, you can come on this side, come on the other side. Because <laughs> the number to call, tell everybody the number to call to get this business 1 877 907 6999. 1 877 907 6999. Or www.org. <laughs> I didn't realize that was in there. 90.7 is actually I know, in our number. Sa Sally, can I make a pledge right here on the air? Yes, of course yeah, you can. Okay, 50 bucks. I'm going to give you a check when I get in. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks. I thank. I'm going to thank you. Can I thank yeah. you on the air right yes, now? Yes, indeed. Thank you to yeah. Tom Sancton for yeah. that most generous yeah. pledge. Thank you so much. I, I already gave. You oh. already gave. Well, thank yeah, you. He, I'm a brass he has I'm to not, say I'm that. Not, I'm a 20-year brass pass. I'm not leaving you out. Thank you. That's true. That's yeah. true. So, yes, thank you to both of y'all. I want you to come over here for a moment. We're going to switch to uh, our regular radio programming in a minute while y'all uh, – switch over here and we'll take some pictures and have some fun and <laughs> it's okay awesome. so everybody like i said we are off to a great start this morning and we want to just keep surging like we're doing and like i said get your business done this morning because um oh also let me let me just mention that we have a two-week archive and after this show you could 